Yeah, we're, we're doing a tier list of all the Dead by Daylight killer Moris. So I, th I, th I think that just sounds like the fun thing to do right now. I think we're going to watch the first three or four and then go from there. And let's go to Wraith. All right, so right off the bat, let's go down the first three. And right off the bat, one thing about the first three is they're all the freaking same. They just grab them, pull their leg, and then spank them. But in the in the hillbilly's defense, he, he does saw them in half with a chainsaw in the exact same spot that these two spank them. Um, but yeah. I feel like that would be so much better. Well, that's a nice position. If um, they their eyelids actually closed, but I do like the kind of sense of almost compassion or or pity by just doing the closing the eye thing or crossing the face. That was just short, sweet, to the point. And right, let's go to heck. Okay, so we're going to go by those three. So the nurse, I like the closing the eyes thing. I like the hint of compassion she shows, or probably it's pity. Uh, but that that one gets her a B. Michael is not bad. It's it's just it's pretty standard. He just grabs him, picks him up, and stabs him a couple times. But that's I mean that's what he does in the movies too. So we'll put him there. Hag, we're gonna give her either an S or an A. She grabs out their liver or something. I don't know what it is, but I think we're gonna give the Hag an A tier. So, Doctor, I think Doctor deserves either the high B or the low A. We're going to put him as a high B for now. I think his is brutal, and I think it looks cool. And I like how there's just smoke coming out of their ears and eyes after he turns them over. But Huntress gets our first S tier. Because, first of all, the thing I love about Huntress is Mori. I love how it gets stuck in their head, and she has to yank it out of their head. I love that. But then, in a political sense, <laughs> another thing I love about this, Maury, is that Donald Trump showed this clip, showed a clip of the Huntress's Maury in, like, a sizzle reel of footage to prove that violent video games are the problem with America. And I think the fact that Huntress's Maury made it into that compilation is such a great, it's, it's a great piece of American history. <laughs> That was good. I think it'd be cool if it was actually like showed them getting split, but you know, can't really do that. And that was just an absolute classic. Next. Stab through the hands, slashes their throat. And it's over. Uh, Bubba's. I think he deserves a B tier. I think it's. I think it's better than 
uh, Billy's. Uh, yeah, B tier. Freddy Krueger's Mori. It's it's a classic, but it's 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 not the greatest classic. It's just and goes through the chest and then they're dead. I think we're gonna go like this. We're gonna shuffle it around to make it a little bit more of a tearless shape. And pig is gonna be a C with the potential to go down to a D. I never realized the crunch sound that it makes when he stomps on their head. That is nasty. That one. That stomp does sound pretty yummy. Goodness. That one makes me cringe every time because I, I have this issue where my mirror neurons just fire off whenever I see somebody get injured. <laughs> like, I hurt too. And yeah, it, it hurts me to see that one. Okay, Clown, he definitely gets an A. Um, Not as good as Hags though, but he gets an A for, for that crunch sound. And then I, I like how it actually shows their finger disappear. Most of these, like Freddy or Hillbilly or... Bubba, they don't show that damage actually occur to the person, you know? You know, not like, oh, it's great. It's like, it's, it's, I, what happened? <laughs> Is that you, God? They could have done more spirit that, yeah, I agree. Um, I think she gets a C tier for that. A high C. And then Legion, just because like that mirror neurons thing I was talking about. And so it, like when he stabs him in the ankle and drags him by it. Ooh. Oh, Hatch was right there. Sorry, I'm doing it again since I cut out the... I mean, there's like UI. That was not bad. This one's my favorite. Plagues is it's kind of gross. Yeah. It's 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 like gross, but it's it's good. It like checks out. I think she's gonna get a B. Yeah, Ghostface is spoiler alert, nothing is gonna top Ghostface. Ghostface is my favorite Mori in the game. Demo dog. I like okay, the thing I like about demo organs, we're gonna listen to just we're just gonna go a couple seconds in. Just the muffled scream is so good. It's so good. I love it. Or can I give Demo Dog an A? Oh. Boy Kazan gets an A, rips out the freaking tongue. I like Death Slingers. I just, one thing that I don't get. We're watching her die again. Okay, so the harpoon is stuck right there, which means his gun should be going at this angle, right? Wrong. It's going at this angle. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. We're still going to give him an A. Pyramid Head gets a C. Ooh. Just a gaping chest cavity. Uh, 
Blight, I think Blight deserves a B tier. Probably like right here. We need to readjust a little bit. Nurse is like right here. And we're going to move Freddy down just to balance it out a little bit more. Uh, Trickster gets an A, I think. Yeah, Trickster's is just such overkill. It's like you absolute douche. And it's just brimming with his personality. I agree, it's super disrespectful. I also like how it's off screen. So it's like, oh, it could he could he's crushing their entire skull, but then you look at their dead body and their head's still there. So that's a bit of a bummer. Uh we're gonna give him a low B. I have such sights to show you. Cenobite 100% gets an S tier for that one. It's so great. The way that you string them up, you see their face like stretch apart. I'm doing, the, I'm stretching my own face apart as I say that. You can't see it though. You hear their voice getting further and further away as they're dragged down to hell. Fantastic. Artists, I like artists. Um, it makes me sad though, because that's what a Xenomorphs would be. And if you know me, you know that a Xenomorph is my number one most wanted the killer in dead by daylight own rio i like i like hers we're gonna give her the highest b tier <laughs> getting punched oh so he loses his sunglasses, and then he just finds another pair of sunglasses. It's great. Uh, Dredge is going to get an A tier for sure for his. Uh, probably like this level A tier. Um, and then Wesker gets an S tier because the punch. So the thing about the knights is it immediately makes the legion so much worse because it's like that's what legions could have been. So I think this is where I would put them all. However, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at some of the different uh, mores that are in DBD Mobile. All right, so one thing that we're going to find out is that the Nettie's Moris are, like, gratuitously violent, even for DVD standards. However, I do think, I think the Spirits is better. Like, if we were to grade it, the Spirit, based on her Nettie's Mori, I think she would go right here. I like what he already has. I think the new one is worse. <laughs> that Wraith went for an ambitious swing. It's it's better. It's it's better. It's like right there. I would say it, it chokes him out. I personally, here's, here's what I'd want from a Wraith Mori. If you came up to me and said, freaking Nick, we're going to let you design the next Wraith Mori. I would say, okay, here's what you got to do. You got to get the Wraith. 
You got to have him put his bell over the survivor's head, smack the bell over and over while you hear their echoey muffled screams, and then they just fall over dead. That's what I would put as a race Mori if it were me. It does feel like race Mori is trying too hard, and as I said, that is a running theme you will see in the Netties Moris. You see what I mean? Like that one is, it just, it feels like they're trying way too hard. It's way too much. Like let's, let's do another play by play. Shocks them. Awesome. Bash them in the head. Awesome. Gears them. Okay. Maybe it's a bit too much. Shocks them again. This feels like overkill. And then yanks it out and then they drop dead. It's like, all right, we get it. Yeah, it did feel like, they do feel like Mortal Kombat finishers. <laughs> I like it. She wraps her incense thing around their head, chokes them out. I'd go there. Um, yeah, that's that's where I'd put it. It's worse. It's worse. It's like Hags is definitely worse. It's it's like a mix between Freddy's and Victor. No, it's not better though. I mean, it's it's not hard to do better than what Trapper already had, but look at this one. Oh, okay, so he bashes him twice. Jokes them out, stabs them through the chest. Clown, the, the skins in Dead by Daylight Mobile, amazing. The Moris, sometimes a bit much. I, I think Clown would be worse with his Mori, like stabbing him through the face, slitting her throat. It's a bit much. You'd be dead before he even slit your throat. Yeah, you would be dead if he stabbed you through the back of the head and the eyeball. Onis. I also think it's worse. The fact that he rips out their tongue in his original Mori, that's the cool part. That's the part that gives him the A tier for me. And then the trapper, um, the fact that he uses the trap on them immediately puts him in the B tier. I would rather his Mori be he sets a trap and then he slowly lowers their face into it. You know, I think that would be such a cool, such a cool finisher, but um, that's not what they do in the game. So, you know, anyway, that's it. This is So this is what it'd be with the netties. And then before is what you do without... This is going to be on YouTube, so you guys can, can check it out over there. But yeah, woohoo!